In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the hottest set, Stellar Crown. With over 170 cards in this set, there's tons of beautiful art rares, so let's see how many we can pull today. This ETB will give us 9 chances at pulling some of those cards, but the main chase card everybody's on the hunt for is this illustration rare. Let's waste no more time and crack it right open. Stellar Crown is the seventh installment of the Scarlet and Violet era. This set revolves around the new legendary Pokemon Terrapagos, which was first introduced in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, the Indigo Disc, but let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the cards we can find inside. One of my favorite parts about an ETB is of course the player's guide. With this we can skim all the way to the back and get a closer look at all the art rares within the set. The two most popular art rares being the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle art rare which some might even consider their chase card. They also complete the trio of artwork with the Charmander ETB that was given as a promo card in the Obsidian Flames ETB. On to the next page and let me just make sure I didn't skip a page and uh, we should be all good but here's going to be all of our special illustration rares. My personal favorite would still have to be the Terrapagos illustration rare chase card but you really can't go wrong with pulling any of these cards. After taking a closer look at all the cards within the set, let me know down in the comments below, what's your chase card? I'm curious to see what everybody's on the hunt for. But here we have our Knocked Out promo card. It's a pretty nice card, I do gotta say. Not one of my favorite promo cards, but there's still some nice vibrant colors throughout the card, and it's nice to see Noctowl finally get his own art rare. Looks like the energy cards also got a new background. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time they have this type of background on them as well almost like a crystal light and going back to the promo card i actually forgot that the dividers were behind the card not too sure how i feel about that since that means you do have to rip open your promo card in order to get the deck dividers but on to the next item when we have ourselves our card sleeves i really like the color scheme that they went with for this etb and it also suits Terrapagos extremely well just a couple more items inside the box and looks like last but not least we will have our packs after that we have your dice and your damage counters as well not sure what I'm going to do with these since I already have a ton, but there we go and we have ourselves our 9 booster packs. Here's all the artworks as well for the set, showing some of the other mascots for the set, but let's go ahead and get things started with our very first pack of Stellar Crown. The nice thing about opening up your first packs for a brand new set is that no matter what cards you pull, you're not going to duplicate the hits that you already have which means we're on the hunt for any hits today, art rares specifically, just because I do love a lot of the art rares within this set, but anything else, whether it's EX cards, no matter what it might be. First card in, and let's take a look. Looks like we don't get nothing there, and let's go! We get ourselves our first hit, and it's a Galvantula EX in its Terraform. What a nice way to start off the ETB, and let's keep it rolling on with pack number two. I'm actually a big fan of the Terra cards that were introduced in this set, whether it's just a normal EX like the one we just pulled, or some of the full art Terra cards as well. The Terra full arts aren't like the ones that we've seen previously throughout sets in Scarlet and Violet. With the ones for this set right here, they do have a rainbow border that goes around the whole card, so it just adds some more color to it and makes it look like a beautiful card to have in your collection. And with pack number two, looks like we strike out and we get ourselves another knocked out, but it's not the promo card, so we don't really care about this one right here. We have ourselves a Terrapagos booster packs up next, so who knows, maybe we can pull ourselves Terrapagos inside of a Terrapagos pack. I do feel as if in all the brand new legendary Pokemon that were introduced in the Scarlet and Violet era, Terrapagos is one of the only legendary Pokemon that really has that look and feel to a legendary Pokemon as the ones that we've experienced in the past. But that might just be me. Let me know down in the comments below, who's your favorite legendary Pokemon from the Scarlet and Violet era? Is it also Terrapagos or is it one that was featured in previous sets such as Monkey Dory or any of the other legendary Pokemon as that? I'm curious to see what everybody thinks and if you're on the same page as me or if we just kind of look at Pokemon a different way. But going back into this, we haven't pulled a hit in a pack so far. So hopefully we can turn things around right here as well. Going into the first slot, nothing there. Second slot, it's an EX card, we will take it, but as you can see, this doesn't have that same feel as the Terra EX card that we pulled in the first pack of this ETB, but it's still a hit. We don't have that EX, of course, so we'll go ahead and take it and we'll move on. I feel like Pokemon really nailed it with this set right here. Stellar Crown has the potential to be a huge set in the future, and it's also a huge set currently right now. It has Terrapagos Illustration Rare as the main chase card, which is actually chase worthy in my opinion. Unlike previous sets where there hasn't really been that chase card, most recently we have had cards such as like the Greninja card for example, um, but sets previous to that didn't really have a card that was chase worthy, so I feel like Stellar Crown nailed it right there. And there's tons of art rares to back it up as well to bring this set up in the future. 
Now, one thing with Stellar Crown that I also like that they did is that they brought to light a lot of the not as favorable or as popular Pokemon, such as Garvantula. And he, oh, okay, we get ourselves an A-Spec card. Didn't expect that here, but we'll go ahead and take it. It looks like also a pretty playable card to play with a lot of the Terraform cards. But going back a bit to Pokemon like Garvantula or Hydrapel, who aren't fan favorites and haven't had major cards in the past, and they now have a special illustration rare within this set, and it gives a little community of people who really enjoy or love those Pokemon a reason to purchase this set right here. It seems like Pokemon has really turned things around after the rough start that the Scarlet and Violet era had in the first half and entering the second half of this series to bring out amazing sets and it actually was just like this in the Sword and Shield era as well. I believe it was with Battle Styles when they first introduced alternate art cards and I'm excited for what's to come. Even though this set just released not too long ago, the next set has already been announced and it looks like a pretty banger set. That set is going to be Surging Sparks and if you haven't heard already, it is going to revolve around Pikachu as being the mascot of the set, which will bring a lot more people into it. And it's also going to revolve around a lot of Dragon type Pokemon, such as Latios and Latios, which will have a special illustration rare and an art rare as well. If you haven't seen those cards, make sure to check those out online because they look like some nice cards to add to your collection. And a lot of people are saying this might be the evolving skies of the Scarlet and Violet era, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to wait and see what's to come. If you are enjoying the video so far, make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment down below, because we do reply to every single comment on this video. And with the final pack, we don't get nothing there, and let's go. We do get ourselves a full art card, and it's a Hydrapel EX full art card. Can't complain, but let's go ahead and move on to the recap. This was a pretty solid ETB for being our first ETB of the brand new set, Stellar Crown. But let me know down below in the comments what you thought so far. And if you are enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. We haven't been the most consistent, but we're working on that. And we have tons of ideas of videos that we're going to roll out to you within the coming weeks. So also hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to find out every time we post a video. That's it from us today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.